The Animal Legal Defense Fund is the only organization dedicated exclusively to using the legal system to protect the lives and advance the interests of animals. Because animals need legal protection from abuse and neglect, and to ensure our laws are effective and vigorously enforced, animals need legal advocates. In 2017, the Animal Legal Defense Fund achieved several legal victories that protected both animals and our First Amendment rights to free speech. After announcing our intent to sue the Downtown Aquarium in Houston, Texas for the inhumane captivity of four endangered white tigers, the company sued ALDF for defamation in an attempt to silence us. But the Animal Legal Defense Fund doesn't back down from a legal battle. We filed an anti-slap motion and the judge dismissed their lawsuit, sanctioning the corporation for almost half a million dollars. After that, we followed up on our promise and sued the Downtown Aquarium for violating the Endangered Species Act for its treatment of tigers Nero, Marina, Coral, and Reef. In another victory for animals and free speech, we successfully defended members of Los Angeles Cow Save, who were sued for trespassing by Manning Beef Slaughterhouse after the activists held a vigil for the cows slaughtered at the facility. These kinds of lawsuits are used to discourage animal advocates from drawing attention to animal cruelty, and we won't let them go unchallenged. The Animal Legal Defense Fund also continued its legal battle against unconstitutional ag-gag laws designed to criminalize whistleblowers who expose animal cruelty on factory farms. Following our legal victory striking down Idaho's ag-gag law in 2015, we won our case against Utah's ag-gag law this past July convincing a federal court that the law was unconstitutional. Our battle continues with pending litigation against the ag gag laws in North Carolina and Iowa. The Animal Legal Defense Fund was also part of a coalition of animal protection groups that joined the state of California in successfully defending and upholding California's 2004 law banning foie gras, which is produced by cruelly force-feeding ducks and geese to induce a painful liver disease. The Animal Legal Defense Fund was also the lead plaintiff in a successful lawsuit by a coalition of wildlife protection organizations against Wildlife Services, a program of the U.S. Department of Agriculture that kills wild animals at the behest of ranchers, all at taxpayer expense. As a result, the agency must now comply with laws that require full consideration and documentation of the program's effect on the environment. Sadly, our all-out six-year legal battle to free Tony the Tiger, held captive in a cage in a truck stop in Louisiana as a curiosity, came to an end when Tony was euthanized. We're still in court fighting to make sure that Tony's owner cannot fill his empty cage with another tiger and to make sure that no other tigers in Louisiana will suffer a similar fate. And we will continue to fight to assure that animals like Tony are legally recognized as individuals under the Freedom of Information Act. A victory in this case will ensure that animal advocates can get quick access to public records when the well-being of an animal is at stake. And we will continue to build on our many legal victories on behalf of captive wildlife in Tony's memory. We also won two federal lawsuits in 2017 that will have lasting and wide-reaching implications for improving the federal government's oversight of animal welfare. The first, will force the USDA to defend its decisions to reissue wildlife exhibitor licenses to facilities cited for violating the Animal Welfare Act. And the second victory created the opportunity for animal advocates to intervene in enforcement actions filed by the USDA against roadside zoos, puppy mills, or other facilities that violate the Animal Welfare Act. By participating in these proceedings, Animal advocates can provide a legal voice for animals when USDA fails to adequately represent their interests. The Animal Legal Defense Fund's crime scene to courtroom trainings for prosecutors and law enforcement officers across the country offer cutting edge techniques for investigating, charging, and prosecuting animal cruelty crimes. And our staff of legal experts directly assisted in the handling of nearly 100 cruelty cases in 2017 including securing convictions in a horse neglect case in Virginia, where the defendant was convicted of 13 cruelty charges and sentenced to two years in jail. We also fund the nation's first groundbreaking statewide dedicated animal cruelty prosecutor in Oregon, assuring that animal cruelty crimes are taken seriously, 
and handled expertly. So far, the program has taken on over 150 cases involving victims ranging from dogs and cats to cattle and horses. The Animal Legal Defense Fund continues to pioneer and advance the study of animal law in our nation's law schools. There are now nearly 220 student Animal Legal Defense Fund chapters, one in nearly every accredited law school in the country. And thanks in part to the advocacy of chapter members, there are over 177 law schools now offering at least one animal law class. In 2017, we also launched the Animal Law Academy, providing webinars, workshops, and additional online and in-person educational opportunities, engaging nearly 2,000 law students, attorneys, and legal professionals. Our pro bono network grew to more than 2,200 attorneys and 450 law firms and contributed more than $4 million in free legal services last year alone, allowing the Animal Legal Defense Fund to file more cases while also engaging some of the nation's top law firms in our life-saving work. Every day, the Animal Legal Defense Fund's team of legal experts is developing innovative legal strategies to protect animals and advance the laws that protect them. But none of our work is possible without your support. More than 80% of the support that makes our work possible comes from individual donors. We don't get government or corporate funding. We rely on those who share our belief that the law is our most powerful tool to fight animal cruelty. So thank you for your support. You are essential partners in every legal victory the Animal Legal Defense Fund achieves. 2017 was an amazing year, and I hope you will help us start 2018 even stronger. Thank you.